Hey, everybody, here we are, New Mont Slate Company. Uh, the spring, not actually spring yet, I think that's this weekend. We've turned the clocks ahead, uh, but uh, it's March 15th, almost St. Patrick's Day. And we're here with our good friend, Lucas, uh, up visiting the Slate Valley. Yes. From down south where the coconuts grow. Not that far. Not that far. Not that far. Aren't Close. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, something grows anyways. Up here yes. we're just stuck in the tundra. Yeah. But uh, so first off, how's the family? Family's good. Everybody is good. We are uh, pushing through the last quarter of school and uh, getting finished up with this year and moving on to the summer. Mm, good, good. Well, hopefully, you know, at this point we're kind of hitting the new normal, I guess. And it seems the, the COVID is... Everyone's hopeful, I guess, is the best I can say. Hopefully it's behind us. Yeah, hopefully. hopefully. You know, or the worst. I don't know if it'll ever get totally behind us, Lucas, or it's just the new normal, and they'll look at it uh, kind of like getting the flu or whatever and you know, moving on. But Hopefully we're there. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully we're there. Hopefully. Is that enough? <laughs> I give up. I give up. Yeah. And then the weather, and we were just talking about some of the other aspects, aspects of our business, you know, the weather, the supply chain, and uh, the supply itself, but uh, how does it look for you guys for the coming year? We are uh, extremely busy and are ready, uh, and I don't think we've really hit the uh, overly busy season yet, which uh, means supply is going to be tight, demand is going to uh, continue to grow all year, I believe, and I think we're in for a very busy year. Yeah, I think last year was pretty much for us record numbers, and uh, from what I've seen with the inquiries in the phone and the, the book of orders. I certainly agree with you. I think it's going to be a very busy year and probably our biggest problem is going to be supply. Supply um, is going to be the name of the game this year. You know, Absolutely. There's still, still the unknowns with uh, the Ukrainian situation. Uh, hopefully the COVID has kind of fallen to the, the back burner, but uh, still we have our trucking issues. How are you doing with the trucking? What are you finding there? Trucking is also an issue, um, moving product um, not only from overseas, uh, but moving product in the States is a struggle. Mm -hmm. um, Northeast is not as bad because we have our local companies who do a really good job at it, but uh, moving cross country is challenging to say the least. Yeah. Um, yeah. The spike of diesel fuel is not helping the matter at all, um, but as we we're discussing the log books, uh, digital or electronic log books are not making it any easier. And, uh, there's just a lot of product moving around the country right now, and none of it's moving smoothly. Yeah, I was I was shocked. Just came back from my Florida vacation. Welcome back. Uh, and on the highway, it almost seems to me there's as many trucks as there are cars on the major highways. And certainly every time I went by a truck stop, the entire truck stop was filled up and there were rigs parked out on the highway. Yep. Uh, I think the, the log thing that we talked about has not really been productive to the flow of traffic. Maybe it's made it a little safer, I don't know, uh, but it's certainly added another dimension that seems to slow things down. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then people not happy with their jobs and switching jobs. So I think the, those combination of things are going to make for an interesting year. Yes. Uh, and it should kick off pretty good. Like I said, we're in March now, uh, thinking construction season kind of starting across the country pretty much with the exception of New England's a little bit behind, but uh, it should be a good year. And uh, you're seeing much uh, interest in uh, the, the newer installation techniques? So our, we have our Ready Slate product, which is a uh, hybrid installation, which is um, gaining traction and starting to get uh, more and more exposure. So that's doing well for us. Um, but still, the bulk of our business is traditional slate, and that's booming, and I don't see it changing. I think it's uh, slate is coming back to being more popular people. I think slate is growing in the market, roofing slate itself, and I think it's, uh, it's people are seeing that it's a better product than many of the inferior products out there, the plastics, the wood shakes, and all the stuff that we compete well, with I'm usually. Not, wood, I, you know, I'm from, hearing from a lot of people that wood shakes now are, are as expensive or more expensive and slate. Absolutely there, yeah. yeah. And I mean, the new wood shake's not like an old wood shake. Yeah, old growth forest is certainly a difference. Yeah. So, I mean, you gotta think, are you gonna put on a product that's good for 30 some years maybe, 30, 40, with treatment and taking care of it, 
or slate, which is pretty much maintenance free for a hundred plus. Yeah. So, and I think people see. are coming around to that. And I think yeah. uh, as these big companies that make all these high end shingles and the plastic slates are making less and less, or just the fact that those things all come from fuel oil or from oil, and good it's point. Good point. Driven the price of those up, and there's not as much of a difference between a real slate and plastics yep. and fakes. Yep. I mean, I think that uh, uh, says a lot. You know, it's all that phony slate uh, or faux slate or artificial slate or whatever they want to call it. It's all a petroleum-based. <laughs> yeah, we've got other words for it. Yeah. But we don't know who's in the audience. We've got to keep it, <laughs> keep it civil. But um, it just, with the, with the price of petroleum way up, uh, those those got to rise and uh, those we'll see. Yep. I mean, I'd like to think, and I know uh, on that note, the NSA is introducing a new uh, program in conjunction with the uh, NERCA and National yes. Roofing Contractors Association to try to introduce more installers into doing slate. So that should be coming to a uh, site near you, hopefully soon. NERCA, the roofing, you know, National Roofing Contractors Association is going to be producing a program to train them, and uh, Great. I know we're involved, and I know you guys are also. Yep. Uh, on that, so that'll be coming. All in all, it looks to be a busy, uh, somewhat chaotic year coming in. I yes, see it's going to be a very busy but challenging year. Um, but everybody needs to get their orders in early and plan ahead way, way more than usual because it's yes, going to be a challenge. I think that's one dynamic that has changed. Maybe people will start uh, thinking a little further ahead. I mean, it's really been. Uh, Things have been almost the Amazon for, format. Call mm -hmm. today, get it tomorrow. Uh, I think that's just not going to be possible no. at all. So plan ahead, folks. Make your orders fast and uh, early, and uh, be prepared for perhaps some delays. I mean, with the things we're talking about, the infrastructure, the trucking, and certainly, I know we're seeing it, uh, workers. Yes. One of the biggest problems we have. God, you're a busy guy. I tell you, I thought I shut my phone off. Uh, that's all right. There we go. But, uh, you know, we could use some more workers. So if, on that note, if someone's looking for, you know, relocate, I think there's money available. Come to Vermont. We'll <laughs> I think Vermont will pay you to come yes, here, don't they? They will. They've got a program now that they'll uh, pay you to come and uh, we'll pay you to stay. There you go. Uh, anything else you want to share with our, our readers out there for this month? That's about it. Well, thank, thank you for the, for the help, my friend. Thanks we'll for having touch. me. Are you, are we, uh, I hear they're scheduled, one last thing, to have the um, NRA meeting here in Vermont this fall. Yes, October I have heard that. Sixth through ninth, I guess. So put it's that in your calendars. And I will be up here in Vermont. All are welcome. It's a beautiful time of the year. Yes, yes, it is. Okay. Well, thank you all. We'll be in touch. Thank you, Lucas. Thank you. Good.